Welcome to Joe Montana Football. Hello, welcome. I'm going to play the original Joe Montana Football on the Sega Genesis. So the copyright on there says 1990, but this game failed to make the Christmas window. So Sega published it in January of 1991. Alright, so there aren't too many options. You can only just play a regular game, a two minute drill, or what they call the Sega Bowl. It's essentially the postseason. You go through some playoff games and then the championship. So I'm just going to do a normal game. I'm going to do a rather short game. There are a lot of time options, but they, only, they go in 10 minute increments. So anywhere from 10 to 60 minutes. I'm just going to do a short game. The clock moves relatively fast, but I feel like 20 minutes is a little long for this. So, and I'm recording this on the weekend of Super Bowl. I forget what number <laughs> Super Bowl it is. But I'm going to go with the Super Bowl teams, which would be 49ers and Chiefs. Now this game doesn't have any licensing, but I think the teams are based on you know the seasons that they had that year, the, the real NFL teams. There's not all the teams here, there's just 16 I believe. I'm going to play a San Francisco, I don't have a favorite, I'm not, you know, don't care if the 49ers win the Super Bowl or if the Chiefs win. But this is endorsed obviously by Joe Montana, who did play for both San Francisco and Kansas City in his career, but essentially his game, so I'll play as the 49ers. So the intro is always the same for the teams, I guess, because he says you want to take on my teammates. I was telling you how to beat him, but I'm actually playing as him, so I don't want to defeat them. This game is more about the passing. Players move somewhat slow. There is no speed burst button like many games have today. You essentially have a stiff arm and a dive button. That's about it when you're running the ball. That yeah, running is it's a lot harder than passing, which is common in a lot of these games. So when you hike the ball, you can use any button, and that determines which receiver will, will show up in the passing window first. She can cycle through three receivers. And getting big plays is pretty common. Surprised Joe didn't tell me great pass, but maybe because it was a touchdown. When you get really long pass plays, sometimes he pops up and tells you it's a good pass. You can look at statistics. It's not the drive statistics, it's the full game statistics after each time you score. As you'll notice, there's no power meter for kicking, so they always just kick it as hard as they can. You can aim the kicks just like you can aim the passing. Basically after you hit the button you can press the d-pad to the side. He's got a lot of time. So I assume, I said, I assume these are based on the real players, the real teams at the time. So Kansas City's quarterback is Steve DeBerg. And the running back would be Christian Okoye. The 49ers running backs Roger Craig, of course Jerry Rice and Joe Montana are the stars. I can't tell you too much about the defense though. Both teams were really good in 1990. 
but neither of them made the Super Bowl. It was the Giants beating the Bills that year. That really, each team. If you look at the records in 1990 and this year. They had one more win, each of them, I believe, in 1990. I don't know if I'll do a Super Bowl prediction. I guess I should. <laughs> Set out. I don't. I'm neutral. I don't really care who wins. I just want a good game. I'm hoping it's a close game. And obviously, the 49ers have the better defense. Chiefs have an explosive offense. Uh, oh, that was gonna be a bad pass. So I'm thinking the score will be in the 20s. Okay, I'm leaning 49ers just because I tend to favor defense, but I don't really know. I guess I'll say 49ers 27, Chiefs 24. Watch it be like 50 points or something. 50 to 51 or something crazy. Ooh, look at this. Zigging and zagging hopes. Oh, he's bouncing off everyone. Yeah, these long pass plays are uh, quite common. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if I should even bother running. I recorded a game earlier, I just thought it went too long. So I'm doing this shorter video. There were a lot of turnovers in that one. And I had a really long kick return. Where I actually got blocked by my own team. I, once I got past the, the other team, I found the whole... Well, the rest of my team just standing around at like the 20 yard line. It's like where the kickoff happened. I guess they try to block briefly and then they just stop running after everyone gets past them. And I ended up running into my own teammates and I basically ended my kick return. Pretty good sack. I guess I should call some timeout. I used to play this game a lot, because I played pretty much all my sports games a lot. Not bad, but there's not much time. caught it, but a little short. It's great rushing stats. Although, I did switch to Madden mostly after uh, Joe Montana 2, which is the sports talk version. So Sega originally wanted to do a horizontal play field on this game, but it wasn't able to. It had to outsource the development. It's really quite a story, and I'm going to link an article in the video description if you want to read it, if you don't already know the history of this game's development. Sega, you know, they hired Joe Montana you know, for the endorsement, obviously. It paid a lot, but... Then they were having a hard time getting the game made. So, like I said, it didn't make Christmas, but that was the big rush, was to get it out by the end of the year. And so, I tried to hire a, a team that was already working on a game. 
That was Mediagenic, which is Activision. That was that company went under some <laughs> name changes before it went back to Activision, but but that was a mess. That, that company was going through a lot of problems at the time, so Sega messed up trying to hire them. They were unaware of what was going on. So then it was in a bit of a bind trying to find a developer. And this is going to sound really strange, but if you don't know this story, but this game is actually developed by the same team that developed John Madden Football on the Genesis. I know, it's like, what? The competitor made the game? Made its competition? But it really did. Because what happened is Sega went to EA because they knew they knew Madden. They'd already seen Madden. They had to approve it. You know, get the Sega seal of approval. So they'd seen the game and they paid EA to use the game engine but also hired EA for the development. So EA put Park Place Productions, the developer of the first John Madden Genesis game, to work on it. Which to me seems insane, but that's what happened. And it made it, you know, put the game together pretty quick. But, you know, EA looked at it and said, well, oh, this is actually better than Madden. So it, it did tell the developers to, uh, reduce the quality a bit, but you know, Lego was just happy to get a game. And so that was just that was it. That was just for the first Montana though. Sega hired another company to do the second game. And that's when it switched to the horizontal play field, which I didn't like at all. That's why I switched to Madden. I didn't like sports talk. <laughs> Anyway, there's a lot more details to that story, which I said I'll leave the link. It's from Sega16.com. The article is from quite a while ago. I just I remember remember reading it way back when, so I looked it up. It's still available to read. And the games weren't. I guess they didn't view them as competition exactly. I mean, Sega was the platform maker, so. It had good relationships with a lot of companies and EA at the time. Of course, EA later didn't support the Dreamcast when Sega did 2K football series and became the major competition, but early 16-bit days, I guess it was just everybody was friends, making lots of sports games, because there were, in 16-bit era, there were so many sports games being made by a lot of different publishers. Everybody had their favorites, but Madden ended up obviously dominating. Eventually, it just took off. Not seeing any penalties here, but penalties are on. There's his offsides, which I'll do right now. Let's see, penalty. There's also pass interference. And I don't know, it's, those are the only two I've seen. I today anyway I've played a few games in defense you can dive and then you can do also like a, I guess a more powerful tackle I just keep diving I'm surprised there aren't turnovers I, I played earlier I think I threw three <laughs> interceptions myself oh he's kind of getting away but man, the players are so slow I also, there were a bunch of fumbles, but I think the teams just kept recovering their own fumbles. Yeah, I'm gonna skip Joe's play. Let's see what we've got here. I had been calling Joe's play a lot. It's just Joe Montana's choice of play. Look at that, bounce off the defender. Well, these guys are catching fast. Great catch. You can see Joe's play up there is a sweep. I'm gonna go for another pass play.
<laughs> oh, <laughs> it threw it right to the defender. <laughs> oh well. Oh, they haven't even scored. I did give up points last game. Although one was... They blocked my... Uh, here's my punt. And they returned it for a touchdown. This game's good though. I mean, for... 1991... It's not that different than Madden, which is, like I said, the <laughs> same development team, so no surprise there. Would have been nice if you had season play, but most games didn't yet. Kind of dove out of the way there. I wish there was a jump button, like jump straight up to intercept or to leap over players. They call a timeout. Just gonna have a little, a little more action here. Game's about to end. Computer used up its timeouts, so I will help them out. <laughs> Yet they're stupidly running the ball. At least they don't care. to call it the double team all the time. Just go with the deep zone. See if they actually throw it like they should. And that is it. Great game. Probably always says that when you win. So yeah, complete domination. Peter's not very good, I guess. There doesn't seem to be a difficulty setting, but if you play the Sega Bowl, the manual does say the games get increasingly more difficult. So yeah, rushing. Why rush when you can pass? <laughs> it's like, eh. You just keep scoring. Alright, so thanks for watching.